Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I am PGH Pokebro Ryan, doing my thing tonight. Got a special video. I am opening up 31 packs of Lost Origin, the newest set that was released yesterday. I'm going to jump into them right now, starting with these five unbroken bronze, unbroken bonds dollar packs. Hope everyone had a good week. It has been one week since the last video. Uh, I know I've got the hit count. I did not pull anything good from a dollar pack, but that's all good. Just here having fun. I know I was out buying a lot of ancient or lost origin. Oh my goodness. I'm buying as much as I could, but a few. Okay, there we go. I will take the first hit of the night. And it's that starting to streak from the dollar pack. Look at that. I'm going to say, excluding that, I'm going to say hopefully eight hits. So we'll see. I'm going to do one more. We'll open up these last three Unbroken Bonds dollar packs. And I'll show you the cards that I am looking for in these Lost Origin packs here. These 31 packs are two Elite Trainer boxes, two of the booster bundles which are nice because there are six packs in those those are basically like the uh build and battle boxes but you don't get the promo and all the other stuff that comes in it you just get the six packs which i like i think i spent like roughly 135 on these things and i'm one short of a booster box so this comes in the elite trainer box i will show you what I'm looking for tonight on the hunt for this pretty cool Giratina alt art as well as this Aerodactyl art alt art those are like the biggest hits in the set wouldn't mind getting this Giratina gold with a look at the other cards and then as well as all these trainer galleries this Pikachu and this Mew so nothing to it but to do it let's get into it first time on the channel lost origin thank you all for stopping by this video might be a little bit longer due to so many packs but it is worth it so hopefully i can get at least when i say five hits so let's get to it first pack of lost origin this is the most that I've opened up in quite some time. Holy wag and okay, look at that. Starting off with another hit. I will take it. It's been a crazy week, but I'm on the better side of things, you know. Hope everyone else is having a good week. Hope everyone else was able to get some lost origin. I know Target is pretty stocked up. GameStop is pretty stocked up. So looks like we're getting back to normal with being able to find packs, which is exciting. I do not know how many packs it'll take to get that Giratina alt art. I think that was going for like 200 bucks at this point in time, but that was before this set officially got released. So. You never know. It might go down in value. Especially once a lot start flooding the market. The same with that Aerodactyl. Um, I know. I think the Pikachu. The large Pikachu trainer gallery card. Was going for like 50. It seemed like 50 was what. Everything else was going for. So. Okay. There we go. Look at that Gengar. Trainer's gallery card. Oh man. If I can get in focus right there. Look at that. Beautiful card. I'm going to have to sleeve this up right now. This is a pretty sick card. Halloween time. I will take it. Okay. Let's keep it going. Basically, this is a booster box tonight. So, I don't know how much those booster boxes are going for. But, I basically paid roughly the same amount. So, hopefully, some hits come out of this. Out of all these packs, I figured 
getting a few elite trainer boxes and the three pack blister and the two booster bundles might be a better shot at mixing it up okay and okay nothing might be a better shot at actually getting something better you know i don't know how many hits you can get out of a a booster box but mixing it up a little bit maybe once i get paid get a booster box just to have since there is a lot of cool cards in this set seems like everyone's pulling a lot of the mews and the pikachus so hopefully oh geez oh man those dogs you don't keep an eye on them and they just tear things up okay spirit tomb and okay look at that the hits just keep on coming tonight. What are you dogs doing over there? <laughs> All right. Once you start the video, you never know what will happen. <laughs> oh, man. I am pretty excited for this set. Oh, man. They are just tearing the joint up right now. <laughs> so look at that. Four hits, three from Lost Origin already. I will take it. And they just keep going at it right now. <laughs> I'm not mad at them. It is what it is. I'm just going to keep the video rolling. That is what happens when you start videos like this, especially me, because I don't know how to edit or anything. I just hit record and whatever happens, happens. So... So I'm just going to keep rolling with it. I apologize for all the ruckus that these dogs are making. But hey, so far it has been an awesome video. Got a bunch of good hits. So hopefully they can just keep on coming right now. Looking for that Giratina full art. That Aerodactyl full art. Some gold foils. Some of the black foils. I don't even know what they're really called. But... I will take it. Like I said, this is the most I've done. I think this might be the most that Scott and I, well, when Scott and I were doing it, the most that we've done on a video in general. I know this is basically the first time that we and I, or well, I did a video as soon as the set came out. I know we usually would wait a little bit and get our hands on whatever we could but this is the first time that I actually went out and got the set the day it was released and did a video this quickly so pretty exciting I'm glad I was able to get these and I'm glad to do it so okay cool poly world and okay a drapeon V I will take it that's a trainer's gallery with the the black border you see the Gengar has the the white, you want the ones with the texture on them. Those are the ones that are worth a little bit more. So, okay. Getting some hits. I like this so far. Hopefully that's just a push in the right direction to get some sick cards. Especially that Giratina full art. Aerodactyl full art. I mean, all kinds of good cards in this set. So I'm going to... Probably buy a couple more Elite Trainer boxes. Definitely get some more of this set while it's readily available. Just keep looking for that Giratina. An Aerodactyl. Hopefully that'll be cool. It was pulled. Okay, look at that. Chandelure. Okay. Trainer's Gallery with the yellow border. And okay. A Magnezone. Look at that double hit right there. Oh my goodness. I'm not sure if that's... I mean, you see the texture on that card. That's a pretty good one right there. The hits are coming tonight. Okay. It is beneficial to just get loaded up on packs for sure. <laughs> First time doing a booster box worth of one set. So, not even... I'm not even putting a dent in these packs yet, so... I like it. Hopefully we can just keep the hits coming. Only takes one pack. 
only takes one pack do another video next week and then just keep them coming it's been a good time i've really had fun opening cards getting back to this i find myself buying pokemon cards any chance i get so okay okay and uh, nothing so i'm just gonna keep buying them as i go out i know i'm stocked up on elite trainer boxes because i'm disappointed that i'm not able to find any evolving skies uh elite trainer boxes really anything even the three pack blisters that set's extremely hard to find and i would love to pull that espion alt art and that car is going for like 400 bucks so that would be a real sick card to pull and add to the collection but that giratina right now would be a little bit easier to get since lost origin is a little more readily available okay look at these trainers just coming these Full art trainers just keep on coming tonight. It's pretty cool. Look, got the Magnezones, got the trainer galleries. Let's see what we got. Only takes that one pack. And I am at the six hits minus that. Well, if I add the one card from the dollar pack, so that is an amazing start right now. One of the best videos under the last video was pretty solid with a lot of the Shining Fates, but hopefully this Lost Origins is even better. Seems to be starting off even better. I haven't even paid attention if these cards are in focus. I apologize. Just breezing through them. Having fun opening up some packs. First time opening these Lost Origins. Thank you all for stopping by. I appreciate it. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. Be sure to comment, turn on notifications, head over to Instagram, PGH Poker Bros. I'll have a picture up of the Elite Trainer boxes and everything that I'm opening tonight. It's easier just to open all the products up. That way I'm not sitting here wasting time trying to open everything up on camera. It's just open. I can just jump right into the packs. I think that's a lot easier. That way I'm not just wasting time. So let me know what you think. I don't know if you guys and girls like this set. If you'd like to see more Lost Origin. Well, I can guarantee that you will because I'm digging this set so far. Okay, Polywag and oh, nothing. So the hits are coming there for a minute. Now they're kind of slowing down, but hey, it only takes one pack. Try and clean up my mess right here a little bit. Be sure to recycle all of the cardboard and plastic that you can. Thank you all for all of your support. Give away another code of the day. Probably give away two codes just because it's been a fun video got some solid hits got the eight that i was hoping for so far so hopefully there's still some more solid hits hiding in these packs right here dogs kind of settled down a little bit they're not being as crazy as they were what we got and oh man so slowing down a little bit so we can pick back up. See if that Giratina alt art picks up in value or holds, or if it loses value or gains value. There we go, trying to get in focus. Let's keep an eye on that. Check the uh, Pokemon Center info. Instagram channel or Instagram page to see if they do a release on Lost Origin, how many packs it takes to pull 
and things like that. I like like looking that up when I was opening up a bunch of packs. You know, it was cool info to have. It's always fun to add a little bit more to it. I mean, I know that I'll, I'll never open up the hundreds of packs that are needed to get most of these cards, but I'm going to make a valid effort because it only takes that one pack. Looking back on the channel, I know we really haven't pulled a lot of the heavy hitters, so it's a little disappointing. I know from Unified Minds, we did pull the uh, Mew and Mewtwo Rainbow Rare. I think that was the rarest card and the most valuable card in that set. Um, I'm not sure what other sets. I think... Maybe Lost Thunder had... I like that. That artwork. Okay, another Magnazone V-Star. I think the Lost Thunder has... The Shiny Gyarados. I think that was the... The rarest card. But that wasn't even going for... A lot of money, so... A little disappointing, but it's still cool to have. It's nice to pull those rare cards from sets. It doesn't matter. Anyways, I basically just hold on to a lot of these cards for the time being. Haven't actually pulled any of the Radiant. Was that the Radiance in this? I know. There's a Shiny Steelix. And maybe two others. Haven't actually pulled any of those, so that's a little disappointing too. Okay, I don't know what's happening right now. Everything's slowing down. I don't like this. Have 12 packs left, so oh man. Just breezing through this. Did get nine hits so far, but nothing nothing outrageous, so I'm a little disappointed so far. Looking for those. Heavy hitters right now. I know a lot of people were pulling Mews and Pikachus back to back out of packages. So I don't know what's up with me right now. I was also disappointed that Target had like a five extra dollar charge on everything. Went to GameStop and New Dimension Comics, local comic shop, and they both had the Elite Trainer boxes for 40, but Target they were 45. And then the uh, booster bundle, the six packs, um, it was New Dimension had it for 20 and then Targets was 25 so nothing. I was a little disappointed in that, that they upcharged them for whatever re ever reason, so oh well, what can you do? Still keeping the positive, positive vibes going because... It is what it is. It's about opening up these cards, having fun, which I am doing. Remember everyone to spread the positivity. There's enough negativity in this world. Every person you see, you never know what they're going through. So always help people when you can. Spread good vibes. Make this world a better place for everybody. Thornton and, oh man. So far, nothing. I don't know what's been going on now. I'm trying to stay positive, huh? Spreading those positive vibes right here, right? So, coming down to the home stretch and breezing through these. Moving a little faster than normal. Hopefully, all these code cards have been in view. Hopefully, everyone that gets these code cards and opens up. Pax gets good cards as well. Like I said, I plan on staying on Lost Origins. See, there I go with the Ancient Origins. The Lost Origin packs for quite some time now since I'll be looking for that Aerodactyl and that Giratina for a while. Because it doesn't seem like even... Two trainer galleries is a little disappointing. I expected to pull a couple more, you know, at least something a little bit crazier than that, but 
We'll see. I'll still count them as a hit, so. Got the hits coming. Last video of the Shining Face, there was a bunch of hits. Those packs seem to be holding a lot of good cards. Still have a few left. Just takes out one pack, so I'm going to keep keep my hope up, you know. <laughs> going to be itching all week to get my hands on some more Lost Origin packs. Oh, man. Just uh Keep hunting for that Giratina full art and that Aerodactyl full art. Basically any of the rare cards. Those Pikachus. Just trying to get anything right now. I know the big telltale is the green and white code cards. And I have not had any of those in these packs. So I guess that does mean that... There's something good hidden in those packs. Hopefully one of these will be a green and white. And actually have something amazing in it. But we'll see. Polyrath. Okay, holographic. Oh man. I don't know what's going on right now. Really disappointing. go there's a v-star card Narco. okay there we go finally the first radiant card the sneezler okay not a double hitter but just as I was talking about it so that means hopefully the next card that I pull will be that. There we go. There we go. Will be the Giratina full art. <laughs> Talk it up, right? It's the best thing to do. Talk it into existence. Any of those full arts right now. It's crazy that was the first V-Star card that I encountered so far as well. Still need to get back on some Pokemon Go as well. Look for a Ditto. Have not found a Ditto yet. Need that Mewtwo. I think there's a Gold Mewtwo, a Rainbow Rare Mewtwo, and the Alt Art Mewtwo. So, need those as well. Okay, there we go. Nessa. These full art trainers have been hitting tonight, though. There we go. Full art Nessa. Do we have a double pack? And, ah, uh, no, we don't. All right. Coming down to the home stretch here. I was able to breeze through these packs. I thought it would take some time to get through a booster box, but apparently it doesn't at the rate... I was able to go tonight with these. So hopefully V-Star card. Maybe I'll buy a booster box. At least we should get one solid hit out of that. See who has the lowest prices on those around. Check online. Like I said, I was buying Evolving Skies. So I did was able to buy five Evolving Skies Elite Trainer boxes. So... Open some of those up. Look for those Evolution full arts. It's been so long. I need to get some. Need to get some heavy hitters opened up on this channel. It has been way too long. Open up a lot of packs. Have not got anything lately. So it's about time, right? It's about time to just buy a bunch of packs and just go ham on it right now so that's my goal i know <laughs> it'll cost me a few bucks but you know what it'll be worth it because i enjoy it i have fun opening these packs okay like okay and nothing okay the last five packs of the night is there anything hidden inside these packs 
I can only hope. If not, just do it again next week. And hope for the best. And then it takes out one pack. You never know what's hidden inside. It's having fun. Like I said, I thank you all for stopping by. These last few videos have been a lot better. A little bit longer, but at least they have been better. So I appreciate all the support. Without these views and without these subscribes, I probably still would be doing this because... <laughs> I have fun opening up Pokemon cards for Lynx, Mimikyu, and uh, Dugong. All right, home stretch, last five packs right here. Hopefully, there is some fire hidden inside. Did not even pull the Charizard uh, trainer gallery. So, man, there is still a bunch of cards to look for in this pack there we go in this series i mean for the first time opening lost origins i'm not mad because we did get some nice trainer full arts so got a few hits not the big hits not a rainbow rare not any gold cards not any alt art We'll see, and, oh man, the last three of the night, and I will give away two extra codes. I appreciate you all watching this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing what's in these packs as much as I did. Because you never know what you'll get, which is part of the thrill Hang out on my Saturday night opening up Pokemon cards. But I am just so happy doing that. Jinx. Basculin. Okay, there we go. There we go. Another chandelier. Chandelure and ah, nothing. So I got a few doubles here tonight. Still cool cards. I'll take them. The Magnezone V-Star, wonder what those are going for. The Nessa, that Gengar is pretty solid. Bunch of the Trainer Full Arts, but sometimes those Trainer Full Arts go for like 30 bucks too. So they can be worth a couple bucks, you never know which one is worth the most. So the last two packs of the night, I'll give away some extra codes. Be sure to head over to Instagram, PGH Poke Bros. Like that page. Be sure to subscribe to this channel. Turn on the notifications so you know when I post a new video. I appreciate all the support. Okay. And, oh man. The last pack of the night. Hopefully this is the best pack Nothing too crazy, but for the first time opening, Lost Origin, it has been fun. More hits than expected, so I'm happy with that. Hopefully the next video, they just keep on coming. Eventually, one of those extremely rare cards will be pulled, so hopefully you will be here to check it out when it happens. All right, here we go. This takes out one pack, this takes out one card. And we have uh, a Gudra V, but hey, you know what? I'll take it. We got 13 hits for the night. These full art trainers are always Pretty cool cards to pull. I got the Nessa, the Volo. So I definitely got some full art trainer love tonight. And then the trainer gallery cards. 
chandelier and of course is a really cool Gengar so there's some nice cards there and of course these Magna zones you see the texture on that so that's pretty cool and of course a radiant it's a pretty cool card to pull I'll sleeve this up as well I will give away two codes here goes the first one from a lost origin elite trainer box and I will give away another one since I got the hit might as well give away two more because I even started a streak with a dollar pack there we go there we go pull this Mars Shadow and Machamp tag team GX out of a dollar pack so that's pretty cool starting a streak I thank you all for stopping by and watching this video. Be sure to stop by next week. Be sure to subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications so you never miss a video. I'm PGH Pokebro Ryan and I will see you next time.